A car starts from rest and accelerates uniformly for a time of 5.21 seconds over a distance of 110 meters. Determine the acceleration of the car. <coughs> so the fact that my car starts from rest tells me that my velocity initial equals zero meters per second. I know that the distance here from here to here displacement is 110 meters and I'm told that it occurs over 5.21 seconds. Since this is happening in the x-axis I'll make this in red. My velocity initial the x is 0 meters per second squared. The displacement in the x is 110 meters and then since time doesn't have a direction I'll write it in black and time 5.21 seconds. The thing that I'm looking for is acceleration, and that's in the x-axis. Question mark, and it's going to be in meters per second squared. And the equation that I'm going to use, the formula I'm going to use is distance equals velocity initial times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. And in this case, I know what distance is, or displacement is 110, equals velocity initial, which is 0. And I know what time is 5.21, plus, I'm going to put this, acceleration, which I don't know, times 5.21 squared. That's all over 2. Now, since I'm multiplying by 0, this blows up, so I get 110 equals a times 5.21 squared all over 2. We get 110 equals a times 27.1441 over 2. Now I can multiply both sides by 2 cancel, cancel, giving me 220 equals 27.1441 A. I can divide this side by 27.1441 so that this cancels. Whatever I do to the right, I need to do the left. And I get that A equals 8.104892023. If I take a look, the only number, uh, this number has three significant figures, and this number has three significant figures, so my answer is going to have three sig figs. 8.104892023. Meters per second squared. Let's see the x-axis.